Hello everyone, this is Abdul Hamid. I'm back again with another tutorial. It is kind of same as one one of my previous tutorial, uh, but uh, in this tutorial, I'm I'll be focusing more on how to create these bubbles. I've already made a tutorial on how to fill a glass uh, uh, with liquid in After Effects, uh, but I'll be making it uh, again right here so you can understand everything from start to end. There will be three parts in the video. The first one will be how to create uh, a glass like that using uh, shape layers and after that how to fill a glass uh, with a liquid after these two I'll be telling you how to create these bubbles so if you want to skip to any part you can check uh, in the description for the timing for each part so that is all I want to say so let's uh, dive into the tutorial first of all I'm gonna create a new comp so this is my setting for a new comp let's uh, decrease the time 15 seconds looks good it is 24 frames and 720p so here is my comp the first thing I'm gonna do is just create a new background layer for that I'm just gonna go into the layer new solid this uh, color looks uh, good I'm just gonna press ok so this is my background layer uh, after that just lock the background layer so you don't move it so it's locked there I cannot mess with this layer right now now let's go and create a glass for that just go and uh, press on the rectangle tool press and hold and select ellipse tool create a ellipse like this this looks uh, good select the shape layer that we have just created go to the fill uh, up here and uh, change it to none like this and go to stroke and change it to solid color like this now the value is set at 255 uh, I'll change it to 10 right now select the shape layer and go to align and uh, place it uh, in the middle like this this will be more of like a reference shape layer so I'm just gonna name it reference after naming it uh, lock this one too so we don't mess with it and uh, select pen tool deselect everything if uh, there's anything on your comp deselect it now create a keyframe like here and one here and drag it like this so it matches the curve of the reference layer after this uh, press and hold the alt key and drag this one like this then create another point right here and just grab it so it matches the curve and do the same thing again press and hold the alt key and move it inside after that close the mask like this so we have a bit of a problem here that can easily be solved by going in here and enabling rulers let me just place a ruler right here just select this point and the line will attract it to itself like this now play with its uh, curves if you think that's not good enough so like I'm here playing with it now I'm gonna name this layer the upper part let's select this one and move it up, uh, up a bit after that uh, deselect everything on the timeline again and create two points like this then bring another line from the ruler go to the shape layer that we have created right now uh, select pen tool and move these points like this and if it's not in place uh, like uh, if it's in here you can just snap it on the line when you're done you can just move the line back to the ruler and it will disappear the lower part is pretty easy you just have to uh, duplicate the upper part like this I'm just gonna uh, name it lower part bring it down beneath the middle part and uh, after that uh, just go into the scale press s on the keyboard and uncheck this thing and uh, decrease uh, the y value of the scale like this 
that's not perfect but we'll fix it after increasing the value of stroke so increase the value of stroke uh, until we have we don't have any space left in the middle just like this now let me place it down here now we can play with the values now we are kind of done with the glass but I need a duplicate of the upper part what I'm gonna do is just duplicate the upper part like uh, pressing ctrl plus D and uh, changing its name to upper part mat after that uh, I'm just gonna select the upper part middle part and lower part and pre-compose it by right clicking and go to pre-compose let's name it glass now select the upper part mat and disable the stroke on it and enable fill on it now we are done with the glass let's create some liquid for that go to layer new solid uh, select uh, any color you want you can select blue anything I'll select uh, yellow like this let's uh, name it liquid after this select the liquid and go to the rectangle tool and create uh, a rough rectangle like this that it doesn't touch any border it's uh, it must be in the middle of uh, the solid it uh, shouldn't touch any border go to effects and presets and type in wave under distort we have wave warp effect drop it uh, on the liquid just like this leave the wave effect for now first we have to deal with the position of uh, this layer so press P on keyboard now I wanna go 20 frames ahead all you have to do is press and hold shift and then press page down 1 and 2 so I'm 20 frames ahead now let's place uh, this liquid layer underneath the glass create a keyframe for the position go 40 frames ahead uh, just like we did by holding shift and page down one two three four so we have 40 frames ahead now bring up uh, this liquid layer back to its initial position so we are done with the position let's play with the wave effect uh, so go to the first uh, frame uh, just uh, like this this is our first frame when the motion starts increase the wave width just like this uh, increase the wave speed from 1 to 2 go a few frames ahead like this and create a keyframe for the wave height go to the last frame right here where the, uh, the motion stops and change the wave height value from 10 to 0 select the liquid and press U on keyboard to bring down all the keyframes so uh, here are all the keyframes on this layer select the last one and press F9 to easy ease it now this liquid layer looks fine to me after this place this liquid layer underneath the uh, matte layer and change its uh, track mat to alpha mat I hope you understood what I did uh, uh, right here uh, so moving on to our bubbles it's uh, pretty easy so for bubbles I'll need the upper mat again so I'll just duplicate it uh, by pressing ctrl and D now let's create some bubbles go to layer new solid and name it particles go to effect and presets and type in particle so there it is under simulation under simulation CC particle world drag it onto the particle like this so we've got a particle system going in here so let's play with its functions to get the bubbles first of all go to physics right here and uh, decrease its velocity decrease its uh, gravity value to negative after this go to the particle under physics and change uh, it from line to bubble 
birth size uh, decrease it to zero and that size decrease it to 0.15 increase the opacity to 100 and change the birth color to this and change the death color to also this after this change the longevity value from 1 to 0 0.4 change the birth value from 2 to 1 now go to physics and decrease the velocity a bit decrease gravity some more and increase uh, resistance a bit so right now these values are perfect for me if you want something different you can play with the values uh, but uh, right now these are fine for me now I'm gonna play with the particles position for that uh, I'll just close down the physics particles and then go to the producer here I can uh, play with the X Y and Z values I'll just bring down the liquid layer uh, keyframes for the reference so I'll select the liquid layer and press U on my keyboard so here is the first keyframe then I'll go and select the particles layer and bring down its position using the position Y value just like this create a keyframe for the Y position Y and go to the last frame just like this and bring it up like here Uh, I've changed some value in the particle world effect uh, I wasn't feeling okay with my previous values I said they were fine but they weren't so I changed some values a bit uh, so you have to play uh, with the values until you find them fine uh, after setting the particles just go to the first keyframe like this go to the particles layer and uh, change uh, create a keyframe for the birth rate and uh, change its value from 2 uh, to 0 move uh, a few frames ahead just like this change it back to its initial value uh, in my case it's 2 uh, go to the last frame after this and uh, change its value back to 0 now I'm gonna uh, select the particle layer and uh, press U to bring down the keyframes then select uh, the last keyframe of the birth rate and press F9 to easy ease it now as you can see we have some bubbles out of the glass that's why we've got the upper mat duplicate now uh, put the particles layer uh, beneath everything just like this then drag the upper mat above the particle layer just like this now enable the upper part uh, keep it selected and uh, go to the pen tool and draw something like this so we are drawing on the upper part right here we are drawing on nothing else we are not drawing on a new layer we are drawing on the upper part So why we did it because all the bubbles uh, will be visible in this red area it won't be visible in the black area so it will only be visible in the red area after that uh, go to the particle layer and change its track mat to alpha mat so now we don't have any uh, bubbles out of the glass so that's how easy it is to create bubbles in the glass so that's where I say goodbye so if you like this tutorial hit the thumb up if you love this tutorial hit the subscribe button and uh, don't forget to check out my previous tutorials uh, my free templates and if you want to say anything the comment box is right down below I'll catch you all in the next video till then signing out peace.